You got a good result against Hikaru with the black pieces. You drew in the night off. Now that's one line that has been under fire, especially since the London Chess Classic. Tell us a little bit about your opening. Well, uh, he went for the. I mean, he went for six bishop g5, which is as far the most um, aggressive system and uh, by far the most uh, problematic uh, variation for black. I mean, uh, there were two top level games in this variation. I mean, uh, which was played last month. First was Karwana's victory against Nakamura himself, and uh, second was Nakamura's uh, crushing victory over MVL. So, well, I was expecting him to go for Bishop G5, and I had some uh, ideas up my sleeve. But uh, uh, after, I mean, Bishop G5, I went for six Knight B D7, and uh, here he played Queen E2 H6, Bishop F6, N F6, and uh, followed by, I mean, then he followed it with G3. I th I think this has not been played so far and uh, well uh, he was looking confident and uh, he was blitzing so uh, I mean he was well prepared but uh, then I went for e5 and uh, after knight f5 bishop e6 I couldn't actually uh, f I mean I, I was actually quite comfortable I mean I couldn't find any clear uh, ways for white to you know get a um, better position or I mean to play for initiative so Actually, the crucial point was uh, when he went b4. I mean, I had an option to play rook takes d5 or to play rook c6. Rook takes d5 is basically just giving uh, an exchange sacrifice. I mean, giving a rook for bishop and rook for knight. And then uh, then it's a positional game where I have my trumps as well. But, uh, well, I'll be down in exchange for the remaining game. And uh, rook c6 was another alternative where... Uh, I mean, which was also quite decent, but um, after rook c6, I thought that white had some advantage. So after rook d5, e d5, bishop d7, like, uh, I mean, I had, like, uh, he was up in exchange, but um, his king was quite weak. And uh, But the main problem was that I couldn't find a, a clear-cut plan, you know, just to uh, uh, pose more problems for white. What I chose was pretty straightforward, and uh, it didn't actually yield anything. And... Uh, it was quite easy for him to find the best uh, defensive setup and then the game just fizzled out. So, Well, the fact that you put Hikaru in trouble to find the best defensive setup is already an achievement with Black. Now, when he played b4, it's quite a provocative move and like you said, the rook, rook d5 was not the most obvious uh, reply to that. And you're giving an exchange without an obvious compensation. So how is your thought process? Uh, why did you choose rook d5 instead of just retreating with the rook? Well, first of all, uh, the move before us highly, was highly provocative, but actually he didn't have uh, any other move, I guess, because uh, I was already threatening bishop takes d5, and then, um, I mean, after bishop takes d5, it would have been quite easy for me to play because white doesn't have any sort of counterplay. So, and after b4, I mean, I had two options, and the rook, rook takes d5, which I chose, was I think the strongest because uh, after rook takes d5 it's much easier for black to play. I mean black is, uh, I mean a very clear uh, follow up, and uh, after rook c6, um, I mean uh, Hikaru's play would have been much easier. So I think uh, I played rook d5 just by I mean uh, I mean I just uh, felt that after rook c6 I would have to defend for the entire I mean game. So. Rook d5 was a practical approach. I mean. Right, in fact, after rook d5, the position you got, it almost seemed like the position that Hikaru would love to play with the black pieces, because uh, despite being an exchange down, there was a lot of uh, initiative for you. Yeah, that's what he was quite uh, unhappy and he was quite um, uh, disturbed, actually, uh, because, uh, yeah, he had to defend. I mean, uh, this is not what... Uh, we what Hikaru wants. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's a uh, very strong and I think one of the best... Uh, dynamic players in the world. I mean, of course, I mean, he's one of the best players in the world, but uh, dynamics or uh, tactics, I think, is by far his uh, uh, strongest point. And uh, this has resulted him in winning many games against top players like Ramnik and uh, even uh, Vishayanan. So, so yeah. Right. Now, again, Sikaru, this was the first time you were up against him. Whatever said and done, you, you're happy with this result, right? Well, I cannot say that I'm happy because, uh, I mean, Actually, I, I, I mean, I had a very nice position and uh, if I would have found the best continuation and then, uh, I mean, if I would have uh, posed more problems, then that would have, you know, uh, been a, that would have been an achievement actually, rather than just uh, playing uh, normal stuff and then drawing, so. Well, but anyways, it's a, it's not a bad result, yeah, so. Not a bad result at all and now you're somebody who keeps coming back to Gibraltar. What brings you back again and again? First of all, the weather is nice. That is the main thing. 
I mean, it's not as cold as other parts of Europe. I'm, and uh, I mean, it's one of the best organized tournaments in the world. And uh, I mean, uh, of course, it's uh, I mean, not only me, I think most of the players who are here feel some sort of uh, I mean, they feel that they want to come again and again. So it, I mean, you, you just feel like, uh, you know, January 2017 or January 2018, I mean, any year, any chess player, I would I, I think would like to, you know, love to start with Gibraltar. So I think uh, thanks to Stuart Conquest. So thank you very much and good luck for your remaining games. Thanks a lot.